Welcome, everybody, to Funky Junk Inspiration. My name is Christy. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel, and please remember to like and comment on the videos. Today's playlist is called Halloween Town, with hosts Shabby Meets Bling and Up All Night DIY, and special guest host Indy Annie Jones. Please subscribe to their channels. DIY number one. Okay, let's get started here. I have these small blocks here. Um, they are approximately two and a half by two and a half that I cut out of some scrap wood that we had out in the barn. And all I'm doing right now is I am painting them black, both sides, and there's nine of them. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is we are gonna make some Halloween monster faces is what we're gonna do. So I'm getting um, the colors to put on top. I needed three yellow ones. I needed a kind of a turquoise one, a purple one, a green one, a black one, and two orange ones. So you'll see me do this here and we're just kind of slapping the paint on, not trying to cover completely, just to give it a little bit more of a spooky aspect, I guess you could say. Now some of my paint is kind of thin, so um, I went ahead and put a couple coats on, which you'll watch me do here in a second. And um, yeah, then we just gotta wait for these to dry. Now I will tell you, I cut the monster faces that I'm getting ready to put on these small little blocks out on my Cricut, and I made them kinda as a stencil. And I just used plain old vinyl that I had an abundance amount of. You can buy the stencil material. Um, which I've used before and I absolutely love. So, but I ended up just cutting these out of some plain old um, vinyl that I had um, quite a bit of, so I felt like it was okay to waste it. All right, so now here we go. Now, when I do stenciling on my Cricut, when I need to use transfer tape, I use contact paper. Um, I do not like the Cricut uh, transfer tape and I have found the contact paper is cheap and expensive and easy to get a hold of and with it being clear um, makes it easy to put your stencils and stuff down. Now I do use the same piece over and over again which you saw me here after I put the eyes on I took the transfer or the contact paper and went ahead and put it on another one. Now, right over here, we're kind of making these scary eyes with the yellow. With it being black, and that yellow paint is super thin, um, I decided to put, I think, about three coats that I dabbed on there. Now, the next thing I'd like to tell you is I like to use the makeup wedges um, for when I'm using the stencils like this because it does... Um, I'm able to offload the excess paint very easily and I can get into a lot of the sections. Normally when I stencil, when I'm using like my essential stencils and stuff, I do use a stencil brush, but you can do use um, whatever you want to use. And um, But I just find the makeup wedges are a lot easier for me to use right here. Now remember when you're stenciling, you always want your stencil to be completely flat, completely down as far as you can get it. Make sure that you are offloading so you're not putting a big blob of paint on there and all that. Now I'm really liking how these little guys are turning out because when I'm pulling the vinyl off, it is pulling some of the paint off so more of the black paint underneath shows through, which is something that I like. Um, you know, if you didn't like that look, you could always do this exact same thing, you know, but make sure your paint's nice and dry, possibly put a little bit of Mod Podge down so that it doesn't stick to the vinyl when you pull it off, um, you know, or basically if you painted it the day before and let it set overnight, it probably would make that paint cured so it doesn't come up all the way. So, but for video purposes, you know, we have to do everything all at one time. Well, we don't have to, but we always do. Plus, I don't have patience to wait for that. So, so far we have a pumpkin face and then what looks like kind of like a scarecrow face, but I made him yellow, which I think is kind of neat. Um, I'm calling the black one with the yellow eyes a bat. And then we, the um, turquoise one is kind of like just a monster. He looks like a funny monster. And then our purple one right there, of course, is Dracula. We've got Frankenstein. We have a ghost. We have another kind of... Um, 
weird ghosty like a monster and then this one right here that I'm doing is a mummy and I think they turned out really cute and I'm just kind of laying here these will be fun all right DIY too okay I have this piece of board right here um it's a piece of MDF and I'm just going to turn it black I had purchased this because I do have a laser and I thought that I would try to cut a lot of my uh wood cutouts and stuff on this MDF it's a little cheaper and all that kind of stuff well I don't like how it cuts it smells really bad when you're cutting it because of all the glue and stuff that's in it so I've just got this stack of these that I've been using for different things and I do love them to use and usually my projects that I do on them I put the uh, sign or whatever it is into like a plate stand to have it set um, I've built frames to put around them done all kinds of things this one right here um, I'm just gonna leave and probably put it in a plate stand um, I haven't decided for sure yet I have a grapevine wreath out in the garage I'm kind of thinking that I might end up putting this in the center of that but right now it's just going to be in a plate stand okay so I painted it black and now I'm going to go over it with some purple and I'm just kind of dry brushing this on here actually this is more of a lavender color um, if you follow me you know I absolutely love color I like to play with my backgrounds and do all kinds of fun stuff so now we're going to go the opposite direction with a little bit of turquoise um, I think this is just going to be a fun background. I want it to be happy, you know, because our theme today is Halloween Town. Halloween Town makes me think of the Disney show Halloween Town, and it is full of monsters and witches. So that's why I made the monster faces. Um, I think it just adds, you know, it's, it's a fun and neat little show. I can remember watching it with my girls, and um, I do like the show. There's a couple of them. I think there's two or three of them. But anyway, it's a happy but monstery type of uh, Halloween show. So here I'm trying to bring out some pinks and some purples, you know, in the background to make it kind of happy because we're going to put a witch's hat on the top of this, and I'm going to use my essential stencils to do that. So right now I'm just getting this dry. Now that turquoise is a gloss paint. The rest of my paint is matte. So I find that the gloss paints seem to take a little bit longer to dry. It's probably all in my head. But I just kept working on that and drying it and drying it and drying it. Okay, so I'm going to pull this 6x6 six six stencil out that says Boo. All right, I want to use it on this sign somewhere. And then I also have these witch's hat signs. This these stencils not signs but stencils these stencils are for a porch liner and the set that you can get they are the stencils from last year um have four witches hat in it which is hats in it and i really like this one so i think this is the one that we're going to use it takes up most of my board so i'm just kind of looking to see exactly how i wanted to put this on here i definitely want that spider web up in the corner but i'm just going to get started right here so i'm going to do um black paint so let's get it out and i'm going to use a stencil brush this time instead of a makeup wedge um usually when i use my um essential stencils i use a essential stencil stencil brush that's fun to say. I also want to say here real quick that um, I want to thank the host Shabby Meets Bling Up All Night DIY and the special guest host Indy Annie Jones. Um, I appreciate you guys allowing me to be in this playlist with you and I'm finding these to be a lot of fun and um, I appreciate each one of you. And I also want to say I apologize for my voice. I am you know I've got a cold. It's just that simple. Not a lot we can do about that right? So anyway, so here we go. I put some paint on my brush. Want to make sure I offload quite a bit. Go over onto a paper towel. Make sure I don't have big blobs. Now when you have a big open spot, you can jump in there and, uh, you know, kind of offload in the middle of your project because, you know, you have the big open spot. But you definitely want to make sure you do not have an excess amount of paint on your brush for when you're uh, actually going over the stencil. Okay, so right here is where I'm going to put the spider web up here. And same thing, um, less is best on the paint. Um, if you need to add more, add more. But uh, don't try to go in with a big blob of paint. 
Okay, so now we're going to put the boo right here. But I got to looking at this stencil, and there was a lot of little things that I don't want on this board because I think that they would look a little bit awkward. So I'm just going to tape those things off so that I don't um, accidentally stencil them. Now, I put some other stars on the board. They were for the stars that were on the witch's hat stencil. So I don't want to use the small ones that are on here. So here we go with this, and I'm going to get the bat in there, and that spider, and that broom. And see, I think that looks kind of cute. It's kind of fun, a little bit different. Now I'm going to lay this back down on here and hit those stars again. And then we're going to randomly put some of those shiny stars um, on our board around through there in just some random spots. <clears throat> Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, wait a minute. We've got a band here and it kind of looks the hat's torn apart. So I kind of want to fill in where that band would be. So I'm going to use this deep purple and so it'll be kind of like it's a band on the hat. Um, I think that you need to do that to um, finish the hat off and it makes it, uh, you know, look like, you know, it's part it's a full hat, not just like, you know, a top part and a bottom part. You guys know what I mean. So while I'm doing that, I decided I was go ahead and fill in my bridges on my stencil. I don't always do that. Um, but it is something that sometimes the project, I think, calls to do it. And then sometimes I don't really worry about it. But uh, on this one here, I decided that we would go ahead and fill in the bridges on the stencil. So I think these projects, all the projects that I did here, both of them, I think they turned out really cute and fun and kind of represent Halloween Town with the monster faces. And then we've got the witch's hat. So here is the final reveal of the um, projects right here. I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and um, make sure you comment and hit like. Thanks, you guys.